Hello and welcome to Caragoracle's Pub Quiz for the 20th of April 2018. Uh, if you're seeing this on the 20th of April today, it's also the cultural exchange between r slash casual UK, where these things get posted, and r slash Brazil. So in the spirit of that, Benvindos membros estemdos do a Brazil. Hopefully that wasn't too completely terrible. Uh, I do not speak Portuguese at all. Um, rather than listing the rules orally at the beginning of every video, I've decided to create a rules slide. So here's that. You can have a read through the rules. The highlights are that you do not need anything except a pen and paper. If you want to compete with friends, the maximum team size is five. Usually, obviously, if you're doing it for fun, do as you like. And there's an explanation of the scoring at the top there. Without further ado, I'm going to try and keep the pace up through this. And we're going to go through all the questions before we do the answers. So don't worry about that. Just pause it, think about the question, and then we'll carry on. Question one. The Maid of Orleans is a Christian saint believed to have been born in 1412 and living until the 30th of May 1431. Her visions of angels inspired her and those around her during her short life. She was sentenced to death on trumped-up charges of cross-dressing, among other things. What was she better known as? Question two. Solid, liquid, and gas are the three well-known states of matter, but they are not the only ones. For half a point each, name the fourth fundamental state of matter. So the three above are fundamental, and there is a fourth fundamental one. And for the other half, Name the state of matter that was predicted by Albert Einstein in 1924. This one is not fundamental. It's like weird sciencey stuff. Question three. Microsoft and Apple were both founded and led by influential men. However, less known are the co-founders of both companies. There was one co-founder of Microsoft and two co-founders of Apple. All three are listed in this collection of 12 names, you need to pick any one of the co-founders. So there are three right answers, nine wrong answers. Maybe you guess randomly, maybe you know. The names are Stephen Cook, Tim Berners-Lee, Steve Wozniak, Exeter Dykstra, Grace Hopper, Peter Knorr, Ken Thompson, Ahn Wang, Ronald Wayne, Paul Allen, Ivan Sutherland, and Claude Shannon. Question four. Which capital is furthest north? London, Amsterdam, Berlin, or Warsaw? This is a hard one. Good luck. Question five. There are two main types of camel, one humped and two humped. What is the name of the two humped variety of camel? I will accept the scientific name or the geographical nickname. Question six. The 1950s saw the release of five animated films by the Walt Disney Company. Which of the films listed below was one of those five? A. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. B. Peter Pan. C. The Jungle Book. D. The Aristocrats. Or E. Aladdin. Which one of those five films came out during the 1950s? Question seven. This is the maths question. If you're new from our Brazil, unfortunately, I like maths. So there is one maths question on every week's quiz. This week we have the sequence of figures below are made out of matchsticks. How many matchsticks would be needed to make the 50th figure? Question eight. This is the acronyms question, so you need to expand any one of the bolded acronyms in this question. First we have, they were afraid of creating SGAI. Second, they were on AEDT, which was UTC plus 11. So there's two options for that one, you can answer either. And lastly we have, he was awarded an MBE in the honours list. Question nine. The chemical caffeine that fuels the people of the modern world, or at least me, is made up of four chemical elements from the periodic table. Those four are 
hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and which other element? Question 10. So this is our two-parter. First of all, we have below are short descriptions of three fairy tales by Hans Christian Andersen. Name any one of these stories. The first story, a tiny girl is stolen from her home but escapes the animals who try to marry her. She falls in love with a fairy prince just her size who marries her and gives her fairy wings of her own. Second, a shard of the devil's mirror gets into the eye of a boy. It causes him to see the whole world as cold, and he is soon taken away to a palace of ice. But a girl who loved him as a brother, innocent and pure, adventures to save him with a kiss. And lastly, a story of two con men who concoct the perfect scam, one that everyone would be afraid to call them out on. That is until a naive child blurts out the truth, giving others the courage to speak out. All right. Maybe you know one, maybe you know more than one. You only need one to get the point and you can't score more than one point. Good luck. Continuing the theme of fairy tales 10b, below are short descriptions of two fairy tales. Name either one. You can either name them in English or in their original language. First we have, a girl must spin straw into gold or die. She makes a deal with an imp to save herself. When the imp comes to collect its terrible price, she pleads for a new deal. The imp allows that if she can guess his name, she need not pay. All seems lost until, wandering in the woods, she hears the imp boast and say his name, setting her free. Second, we have three brothers must travel to get food, but an evil creature blocks the path. The youngest goes first. He is spared because he promises that a better meal is coming. Then the medium brother comes and similarly promises a larger meal. Finally, the eldest brother comes along and he defeats the creature. So name either one of those tales. Question 11. The very first webcam was created in 1991. It was created with a very clear purpose in mind. What was that purpose? Was it A, espionage or spying? B, to monitor a pet dog? C, to attempt video calling? D, to see if the coffee pot was empty? Or E, as a security camera? Question 12. Which of the following is not the name of a type of electric or electric hybrid car? Volt, Ionic, Leaf, Zoe, Etron, or Whisper? Question 13. The leader of Austria at the beginning of World War I was the uncle of the assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand. He reigned from 1848 until his death in 1916, halfway through the war. He was known as some title, Franz, and then his second name. What was that second name? Or, for half a point, you can give me his title, but to get the whole point, you need his second name. Question 14. Which tax in particular, imposed by Great Britain on its American colonies in 1765, began no taxation without representation protests? that eventually grew into the American Revolution. Was it A, income tax, B, carriage duty, C, wealth tax, D, highway tax, E, property duty, or F, stamp duty? Question 15. This is the anagram question, so it's a standard anagram. You need to rearrange the letters of the bolded words below to find a famous English sports person. So we're looking for the name of a famous English sports person in the anagram Rayon I now. Question 16. Below is a Frankenstein-esque mashup of four Asian flags. For the point, you need to name any two of the countries or other entities whose flags are shown, and you get half a point if you can only name one of them. Question 17. This is the what year question. So all of the following events occurred in the same year. You need to tell me what year. So in this year, Sputnik 1 falls to Earth from its orbit and burns up. 
Gottfried Christensen files the patent for the iconic Lego brick. 21 people, including seven Manchester United players, die in the Munich air disaster. The Beatles, at this time known as the Quarrymen, have their first recording session. Pope John XXIII succeeds Pope Pius XII. Charles de Gaulle is elected President of the French Fifth Republic. Michael Jackson, Gary Oldman, Michelle Pfeiffer, Viggo Mortensen, Kate Bush and Madonna are all born in this year. Which year is it? Question 18. In Norse mythology, which god or goddess is credited with the creation or discovery of runes? Is it A. Loki, B. Freya, C. Frigg, D. Heimdall, E. Odin, or F. Boulder? Question 19. This is the five-parter, and this week we are looking at countries and cities. So, the following five countries have a capital city that is not their largest city. You get half a point if you can name the capital, and the other half if you can name the largest city for each of the countries. As an example, Australia has the capital Canberra, and the largest city is Sydney. For 19A, we are looking for the capital and largest city in Canada. For 19B, we are looking at... Would you look at that? It's Brazil. I write these things in advance, but... This is what I like to think of as a happy coincidence. 19C, we have New Zealand, another country with a capital that is not its largest city. For 19D, Morocco. Ah. For 19E, Vietnam. All right, that takes us through the 19 questions that award points. On the live version, there's this music question. Um, some people like to guess at it, but I can't play it for copyright reasons and I can't sing, so there'll be no impressions. This week we are looking for the song, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. And if you think about how that song goes, you'll realize why I don't do impressions of the songs. Um, all right. Make sure that you've taken all the guesses that you want to take. We're about to start going through the answers. The next slide will have the answer to question one, so you've been warned. Pressing on to the answers then. Question one. The Maid of Orléans was St. Joan of Arc, or Jeanne d'Arc, if you're trying to speak French. Um, yeah, she was convicted of heresy. Cross-dressing was apparently a sign of heresy, um, which is why they burned her as a witch. Question two, uh, the fourth fundamental state of matter, if I can say my words, was plasma. And the state of matter predicted by Einstein bears his name. It is called the Bose-Einstein condensate. Half a point for each of those. Question three, the co-founders are Steve Wozniak, Paul Allen, and Ronald Wayne. So if you picked any one of those names, you get the point. Um, Paul Allen was the co-founder of Microsoft, and Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne co-founded Apple, although Ronald Wayne barely had any involvement with the company. His share was bought out almost the same month that the company was founded. Question four. Which capital was the furthest north? It was Berlin, but it is damn close. This is possibly the hardest one I've ever done. Um, you can see from the degrees of difference up there that it's really, really close. Question five. The Bactrian camel or the Asian camel are the two possible answers here. It is not the dromedary African, which is the other type. We were looking for Bactrian or Asian. Question six. Peter Pan was released in 1953. The dates for the others are shown. So... Peter Pan for the answer there. Question seven. I've included the method above the red answer line, but the number you needed is 755 sticks you would have needed. Question eight. The acronyms were Strong General Artificial Intelligence for the first one, Australian Eastern Daylight Time, or Coordinated Universal Time or universal time coordinated. Um, I'm not sure why it's in that order, but it's probably France's fault. 
Uh, he was awarded an MBE. That is a member of the most excellent order of the British Empire. But I will accept just member of the British Empire because that's the bit that corresponds to the letters. So, Question 9. The chemical... The fourth chemical element in caffeine is nitrogen. You can see the chemical formula below has N4 in there. Question 10. The fairy tales. They were Thumbelina, which is Tomelisa in its original language, the Snow Queen, or Snedroningen in its original language, and the Emperor's New Clothes, or Hieressen's Nie Klade. Question 10b, we have Rumpelstiltskin and the Three Billy Goats Gruff. There you go. Question 11. It was created to see if the coffee pot was empty. Uh, to save the disappointment of an empty coffee pot after walking to the break room, a camera was set up providing a live picture of the coffee pot to all desktop computers on the office network at Cambridge where this was done. Uh, I believe the coffee pot that was being monitored is now in a museum somewhere. Question 12. The Whisper is not a type of electric car. The Chevrolet Volt, Hyundai Ionic, Nissan Leaf, Renault Zoe and Audi e-tron are all electric cars. It was the Whisper you had to get. Question 13. He was Emperor or Kaiser Franz Josef. Um, the spelling is not so important here because obviously it's been translated a bunch of times, but you need Yosef or a close approximation to it uh, for the whole point. But if you put Emperor or Kaiser, you can have half point. Question 14. Stamp duty was the tax that uh, caused some uh, small revolt. Let's put it that way to start with. Um, Basically, all official documents had to be written on stamped paper, and the paper was sold with a stamp duty on it, and so that was how they did the tax. Question 15. Wayne Rooney, the footballer, is hiding in Rayon Eye now. Question 16. The mashup, we had Taiwan, which is known as the Republic of China or Chinese Taipei. Actual China, the People's Republic of China. Uh, Bhutan and Nepal. Those were the four answers, kind of. There are several ways of phrasing two of them, but you needed any two from that list in order to get the whole point and half a point if you only got one of the countries. Question 17. The year was 1958 when all of those things happened. Question 18. Odin hanged himself from a tree without food and drink for nine days and nine nights in order to discover the runes. He was uh, pretty much, he did most of the important stuff. Not all of it, but quite a lot of it was open. Question 19. Canada, the capital is Ottawa and the largest city is Toronto. 19b. I'm sure any of our guests who've bothered to take my quiz would have gotten that it is Brasilia and Sao Paulo. It is not Rio de Janeiro. That is the second largest city and the former capital. Question 19c. The capital of New Zealand is Wellington and the largest city is Auckland. 19d. Morocco. The capital is Rabat and the largest city is Casablanca. And lastly, 19e. The capital of Vietnam is Hanoi, and the largest city is Ho Chi Minh City, formerly called Saigon, and I will be generous and accept Saigon if you put that. For those of you who were playing along with the music question, it would have been Cindy Lauper who sang Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Uh, total earworm, and I hope nobody has it stuck in their head. But that concludes this week's quiz. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a comment on uh, our Casual UK saying what you thought, like any questions you liked, any questions you didn't like, share your score, see how other people did, that kind of thing. Um, and if you want to, I post them at 9am on Friday on the Casual UK subreddit. That's 9am UK time. All right. Have a great Friday and a good weekend to follow. <laughs>